Hi, I will show you what's new in the group row. So in the past, a group of objects were drawn using empty and collection instancing. But the, the new version will use the mesh and uh, geometry node modifier. In this case, you can see this modifier is instancing whole body collection. And uh, the new way allows us to add modifiers on top of group of objects. For example, in here I have this cube that is slicing the robot like so. It is glitching a tiny bit because of the self-interest sections in the base mesh. But I can show you that this robot is built from a few subgroups and those are then built from sub-objects like that. Before I go into more detail, I will explain the update process. Uh, so uh, right now the group pro is add-on but now the new version will be extension. So if you run the built-in auto-updater, it will place the extension inside scripts add-ons and it will stop working. So that's why after running to auto-updater, you will have to cut group pro folder from add-ons and paste this inside extension user default and group pro. Restart blender and it will work. You have to do this only once because after that auto updater will use the correct new location or if you do not want to use auto updater then just remove the old group pro version and download the extension zip for from gumroad and in the blender extension preferences from the top right select this install zip file from disk it will install extension in the correct location so in here we have a bunch of old groups, meaning those are empties with instance collection. And if I use the group pro control X pay menu, you will have only like one option, update to new mesh groups, select all. And visually nothing should change, but you see those objects are now mesh type. And if I go to modifiers, this modifier will install uh, instance the whole body collection. Let's say, I will want to, if you want to edit old groups, you will just have to use the old group row. So let's now edit the new group. And let's say I want to add maybe the subdivision modifier on the arm. So I added subdivision, but nothing changed. Why is that? Subdivision modifier expects the mesh on input, but this uh, group pro instance modifier is generating a bunch of uh, objects from the arm collection and those objects are not valid input for subdivision the fix for that is to use realize instance realize instance you can think about this as kind of like uh, join all objects into one operation and uh, convert into one mesh so with that button if I enable subdivision, you see all the objects were subdivided. Okay, maybe I can show you also like without realize instance. If I try to apply this first modifier, it will complain that this modifier has no mesh. So as I explained, the first modifier is a bunch of objects, so you cannot apply, apply that. But with realize instance, it is merging all those objects. So now if I use apply, it works okay. I can go to edit mode and you see all those objects were merged into one mesh. And uh, I will undo. Undo this and I will maybe show you some limitations and uh, how this works in more detail. Uh, let's say I will create a simple group with uh, Suzanne and maybe Lamp. And let's create a group, control X, create a group. And I will want to use maybe Blender Mirror on that. And to make it work, you have to use Realize Instance. And now it works, except the light is gone. So the light is gone because Realize Instance is kind of converting all the meshes, all the objects into mesh, but light cannot be converted into mesh. That's why it was kind of removed with Realize Instance. So you see, without Realize Instance, with Realize Instance. Maybe I will move Origin to the side, so it will be easier to see. 
and there is a kind of workaround for the midor. The group pro has its own few mid modifiers. One of them is midor, and uh, this custom midor does not require realize instance. So you, thanks to that, you see the lamp and other non mesh objects can be mirrored. Okay. And also it has this gizmo. If you have Blender 4.3, you can use this to enable or disable some mirroring axis. The another thing about the realize instance is since it is merging all the objects into one, when I would dissolve this, it would merge all the objects inside into one. It doesn't make any sense maybe in here because this is just one mesh. But let's go back to the arm. And uh, so what I basically meant is that when we use realize instance and I would try to dissolve, it would merge all those into one. You would not be able to dissolve this into sub objects. So that's why that's why there is the custom mirror. I can change origin to this object. And uh, since this custom mirror doesn't require realize instance, the dissolve will work OK. And I can still edit all those objects inside since they were not merged into one. Maybe I can also show you a quick, quicker way for mirroring those arms. Uh, let's say uh, I want to mirror arm around this object. I can select this object, then the arm, Control X, mirror, and it will automatically use the center part as origin for mirror. Uh, so let's maybe go and I can show you other modifiers that are custom made that do not require realize instance. I will duplicate this arm, Control X, remove from group, close the whole body group. Exit local view. The other modifier that will comes with the group pro is the linear array. Nothing new. It was in the it was there in the previous version, but now it has the gizmo, so you can use the gizmo like that, and it can be dissolved as I just mentioned because it doesn't require a realize instance. Uh, uh, what I wanted to show you about the gizmo is that it cannot snap. So it's kind of cool, but let's say we have the example case like that with the linear array. And I would like to snap the cube, maybe like this corner to this. Well, with Gizmo, good luck. You cannot snap, so you cannot do this. Now, Blender Move Tool has cool feature. I can show you that. When I grab this, I can press B and then pick one of the corners. So hover your mouse over corner, press B again, and we can use this for snapping. And uh, I showed you that because the Group Pro Linear Array also uses the Blender Move tool. So I can also press B now, pick the corner, then press B again and snap this like that. So you would not be too able to do this with the gizmo. So that's uh, that's kind of cool. And let's say you want to add a new array. Uh, if I use array right now, it will just edit the existing one. But if you want to add new one, just click the plus, pick different axes, and it will work OK. And all of those can be dissolved like that if you need. Uh, so maybe I can also now show you the radial array. You get something like that. It is also using Blender Move Tool, so you can use the B trick. And now it also supports Gizmo, so you can move those like that. Scale, rotate, uh, basic stuff. And uh, maybe if you wanted to create similar setup, that that is not requiring realize instance and that is that you will be able to dissolve i can show you the basic concept to create that so in the geometry nodes 
there are two most important nodes. So when you get the input from uh, group input, the input geometry has to be uh, has to go to this geometry to instance, and then I just duplicated this bunch of times with duplicate elements as instance, and then I just transform this and move those on circle. So with this setup, uh, you can make uh, make it work without having to use realize instance without having to merge all those objects. Uh, and if you don't care about dissolvement, you can just use uh, anything you want. And maybe I can show you if you dissolve this, you get this result. And if you remember, there is ma max de depth for dissolve. If I increase that, it will split those into individual objects like so. Okay, so there is one more thing to know about the realize instance. We will now enable that on the copy on the right and for the whole robot. So now you see uh, before and after. Before, after we get some of the hidden objects merged into one copy. So what is going on? It is basically that realize instance doesn't, doesn't know which objects are hidden, which are maybe objects rendered in wire mode, and it is just merging everything. And there is fix for that. Uh, but maybe I will quickly show you the source of the error. So this is the center body part, and this is the Boolean cutter rendered in wire mode, and this is the same object as in the right. So anyway, the fix for that is to use Control X, other, manage, realize, instance, ignored objects. And I will set ignore to the wire object, panning box, display object, and the hidden objects. Okay, and now the issue is gone. This is especially useful if you have many booleans and you do not want to like show them in the in the realize instance copy. Maybe I will quickly show you how this works in the background. So this boolean cutter now has special ignore ignore on realize instance modifier. So that's why it gets ignored. Now, instead of doing this like manually from the other, other menu, there is option in preferences to auto manage realize instance ignored objects. And if you enable that in preferences, it will do this for you automatically. Uh, so maybe let's say we have no object in here. If I go to the edit mode, it will kind of reveal that object on the right because the modifier is gone, but as soon as I close the uh, group, it will automatically hide this boolean cutter in here for you. So that is everything I wanted to talk about. Hope you like the update. See ya.